Hello and welcome to CI in Under 5. My name is John Weezy. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about a feature that is asked about pretty frequently. Um, how do you copy information from one environment to another, or sometimes referred to as DevOps? So to jump in here, um, we will take a quick look in my environment. We will see that I have a single sandbox environment. Um, and what I would like to do is create a production based off of the sandbox. So the sandbox has a number of data sources set up in it. It has gone through the unification process. I have some activities and measures, segments, and customers. And what I'm going to do is go out here and create my new environment. And what you will notice when I click on create environment, I get the option to create a new environment or uh, the new functionality, which is copy from an existing environment. This will go out and find all the environments in your tenant, uh, the keyword there in your tenant, and uh, allow you to pick one. And I can uh, change the name to be my CI prod. I can pick a region for it, and I can pick a type. In this case, it'll be another production. And I'm going to hit create. And it has gone out and created my new environment. So if I come back here and I change to my production environment, what has happened is behind the scenes we have copied uh, some of the configuration from the old environment or the sandbox environment in this case. And we're going to copy that over and put it into the production environment. Now, not everything is being copied yet. Um, we are adding features uh, over the next few months. You'll see more and more of the configuration of customer insights rolled into this feature. Okay, so it's done creating my new environment. And as you can see, I get a nice little pop-up that says the environment's been created. And I have to go out and do some configuration. Uh, we'll notice here that it's going to take a second uh, to catch up uh, and actually bring in each of them. And you'll see that it says credentials required. So if I actually go in here and I click on the edit, it's gonna bring me into the Power Query editor. And really what I need to do is configure each connection. So I'm gonna click configure connection and it's anonymous, it's just a, uh, a web request, so I can hit connect. And now it'll go out and try and pull in the data, and then I'll be all set. All my other changes are, are still in here. You can see on the right-hand side, uh, promotion of headers and changing columns and all those things are all kept as we go through there. Once they're all done, I can say next, and it will then save that information, and we'll then go out and try and refresh the data. You'll have to do this with each one of them um, to get going. So I'll do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've gone through and configured all of the uh, access for the different data sources, the next step would be to go into Unify. And everything should be set here for you as far as the fields go um, when you bring them in uh, for map. You'll have to run match. Uh, everything will be set up, but you can see I have no records. So I need to go ahead and run match. So I will do that and be right back. And we're back. And match has finished running. You can see I've got all my records out there. So now I can go out to merge. And I can go ahead and run merge. And let that go ahead and run. And when that comes or finishes running, I will be right back again. Okay, we're back. Merge has completed, and let's go see what else has uh, gone off and kicked off. Wow, it looks like we've got some measures that ran already. Um, let's see if there's anything else running. So it looks like activities is in the middle of running. Measures uh, is completing. There's some that maybe haven't been run yet. Uh, segments haven't been set up yet, so let's go take a look here. Measures, we can see that we've got uh, six of them, and it's still updating. Uh, segments, we can see that we have two of them. Those have not been run yet. Um, and actually, it pulled across the state as well since we had one that was inactive. Um, customers um, will need to be, we'll have to set up the index again, but that's fine. So how about activities? Activities are there. You can see that those have been created and are being run. So everything is all set. Uh, so those are the steps for copying an existing environment into a new one within your same tenant. Um, now, for those of you that might want to copy a trial uh, setup from one environment into another, uh, in a or potentially um, want to copy from a 
uh, environment in one tenant into an environment into a, another tenant. Um, those are not possible today using this setup, but they are possible using the APIs, which I will talk about in part two to this video series of two on the DevOps process for Customer Insights. So stay tuned and head on over to see part two.